Hello guys, welcome back to another session of Automation 360 and today I'll be looking at browser package. So in front of you, I have uh, all the actions which are present inside a browser package. So uh, it has seven different uh, actions. Uh, one is close, one is open and various others. So we'll be looking at all these in this example. I have just dragged uh, open browser action which says like what URL you want to open. So I have clicked on rpfeed.com and I've selected a browser, Google Chrome. You can select any of the browser and if you keep default browser, so it will take uh, the system's default browser. Okay, let's keep it uh, Google Chrome for now and the link which I want to download. And after this, I'll just drag and close session and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just close this uh, browser. So any browser which uh, which has an uh, uh, this uh, title will will be closed, okay. And you can also variableize this dynamically. But for now, let's keep it uh, hard coded. After this, uh, 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 once the browser is opened and we want to like, I'll show you how we can uh, get the source code. Basically, what is source code? Source code is like once you open any of the browser. Uh, URL let's say rpfeed.com and uh, if you uh, just right click and say view page source so this is the source code basically so if you want to get source code HTML source code of any of the web page you can use this particular method so get source code I'll just drag it and the browser tab we can find it out the open browser tab so currently uh, I will just open up one of the new window here and we'll paste it rpfeed.com so that we get a source code of that website. So it will just try to find uh, the open sessions, open window of uh, Chrome so, so that we can select the browser taking a while just to load a win window once the window is up yeah it's getting the windows and now it will show us the windows so we'll select this uh, rpf feed window and here in the wildcard i'll say rpf feed whatever um, because right now i know there is that uh, that browser will be one there will be only one tab that's why I'm doing like this. Otherwise, you can give a specific title for which particular web page you want to extract uh, the source code. And you want uh, and for now, uh, the, the extracted source code can can be assigned to prompt assignment. Um, if you don't want to assign it to prompt assignment, you can create a variable from here. So for now, I'll assign it to a prompt assignment. And from here, I'll drag in a message box just to display the extracted source code let's go back to browser yeah so here in message box uh, I'll need to print uh, the assign the source code which is in my prompt assignment so this is uh, for like opening a browser getting the source code and displaying it and then closing the uh, tab so browser here uh, browser one here uh, means uh, this variable window variable so this window variable has a default value of rpf feed uh, asterisk that means a wildcard character so uh, whatever uh, google chrome tab which has this title uh, will be closed okay and if you don't want to uh, uh, variableize it or hard uh, you want to go with hard coded value you can click on browser similarly uh, uh, here uh, like here also it's variableized and here also we have variableized it we can we can uh, directly go with the uh, uh, hard-coded value as well okay so this is it regarding uh, the close action so we have covered three actions here I'll also try to cover here uh, find broken links so let me drag the find broken link action first of all let me tell you a find broken link action uh, just find outs uh, broken links of your uh, web page so suppose 
you have specified any of the URL over here and uh, you want to find if there are any broken links uh, onto that page. So uh, it, it will uh, generate a list of uh, uh, broken links in the CSV. So right now um, I'll specify the web page as uh, let's take an uh, let's take an example of uh, uh, the same website uh, and let's pull up uh, one of the web page from here um, for example uh, let let us open top 10 uh, open source rpa tools and i'll copy this url and i'll paste it here so what the uh, what does this action will do it will uh, visit this particular url and find broken links and i have the options check only this page or check the whole web uh, site so if i click check whole site it will it will uh, check across the entire website and this will uh, take some time it's a time consuming activity because it will then scan your complete website for now for this demo we'll will only check this particular uh, page and here uh, i just want to specify uh, any location so for location i'll 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 go with this uh, particular location. Okay, um, temp, and uh, I need to specify the CSV name. I'll say broken links. Dot CSV. Okay, and number of parallel threads means like uh, how uh, how you want this execution to happen. Like the it is a background activity which keeps on scanning the website. So the, the, the more the number of threads, uh, the faster will be the execution. By default, it's 10. So let's go with the default number only for this particular uh, case. And this is a timeout, uh, basically. So it's a maximum wait time, uh, like for uh, scanning the links. So append, or if there is existing CSV, we can append it. So that's all. And now let's uh, let's run this or uh, maybe we can do one more thing is uh yeah we'll we'll uh, we'll uh, try to execute before trying to execute this uh, bot we'll just try to um, check this action download file so it uh, downloads a file from a mentioned web page so if you specify some of uh, url of the file it will directly try to download the file and save to the mentioned uh, uh, location it's pretty simple okay and uh, then we have go back go back action so go back just behave as a uh, back button of your browser suppose here if you can see in my google chrome here i have a back button so it will just navigate back to the previously visited page so this action does the same and then we have a run javascript so run javascript uh, in in a in a uh, after opening a particular web page if you want to uh, run uh, any javascript you can uh, you can invoke this action so if you want if you have a manual uh, script you can paste it here uh, like alert hello hello a360 so this is my javascript and uh, if if uh, if your javascript is present in uh, one of the file you can import it from here and here i'll specify the same um, uh, browser and if you if if your function like uh, this function uh, would simply don't uh, alert something if you you want you want to execute one of the uh, of uh, you want to embed in uh, one of the function like for manual so whatever outcome it uh, it will give you need you can save it to a assignment a prompt assignment or any of the uh, string type or any any data type of your variable accordingly so this is how run javascript works so for now let's uh, delete this and try to run this bot uh, with these uh, actions so what it will do is it will try to open uh, rpafeed.com and then we'll get a source code of uh, the specified web page uh, which we have uh, uh, the one of the uh, blog which we have mentioned in the URL so and then it will uh, display uh, the source code 
and then it will try to find uh, the broken links and uh, then close the browser tab so it opened up rpfeed.com and it and it displayed the uh, source code the uh, of the page html source code it'll just close it and then it will try to find broken links it will generate all the broken links uh, into a csv for that particular url which we have mentioned and then it will try to close the browser so it's taking a bit to find broken links because um, it, it just scans what are the urls uh, which are loaded in the background for this particular web page so this action takes a bit so that's why i have included only a single page if we if we if they scan for entire website it takes a lot of time and now it just closed that window okay close so we'll check the file was generated or not so you can see here uh, broken links dot csv is generated and let's check what is there inside this so you can see uh, the url uh, and you can see the urls are there and and successful and error code basically so which of the links are successful and uh, some of the urls are uh, not found or having some other errors right so these are some these are the broken links so in this way you can find the broken links basically so that's all guys for this session i uh, hope you enjoyed this and let us know in uh, the comment section below and thank you for now